please stand as Mrs. Inscoff says our pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Please be seated. Hi, Devonport. It's Adley. Hi, Bristol. Today is National Crayon Day, so make your day colorful and add a little bit of color to it. Today is National Eiffel Tower Day. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower is 1,083 feet tall? No, it's Hornet, but it's time, it's time to shine. shine. Let's see what's happening at Davenport. Hornet. Hey, Davenport. Did you know that last night sale was on the 17th? It was two weeks ago. The money goes to PTO. They raised $183.17 on Friday. There was popcorn, cereal, granola bars, fruit, snacks, pretzels, goldfish, animal crackers, and more. Also, Davenport Fight for Life raised $1,754.60 during the week. Hi, Davenport. That was a pretty slimy Friday on the 17th. In the gym, the students who raised the most money for the Kids Heart Challenge poured slime on Mr. Helsher, Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Donner's heads. Mrs. Lynn told, told us we raised $17,500. Great job reaching our goal, Davenport. I feel sorry for the volunteers. Hi, it's Zola, and on Friday the 17th, Davenport did a PBIS celebration. Fourth grade did this in the fourth grade classrooms. The kids ch chose which classroom they wanted to go in. Miss Bayer's classroom had science experiments. Miss Ricketts' classroom had board games. Miss Curley's had minute to win it games. And I did Miss McNeil's classroom. She had crafts. <laughs> Guess who? Mr. Donor. Good morning. We are here with Mr. Donor, whose job is a PE teacher at Davenport, Davenport Elementary. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Donor. Thank you for having me. Where did you go to college? Well, I went to college at a lot of different places. Um, I started at Monmouth College, but I wasn't there very long. I left and then I went to Spoon River College, and then after that I graduated from Western Illinois University. Tell us about your family. I've been married to my wife, Lena, for uh, 17 years, I think. I think 17 years. We have three children. We have Moses, uh, who is out at the middle school as a seventh grader, Ezra, who is out at the middle school as a fifth grader, and this beautiful girl right here, Hadassah, is my daughter. Do you have any hobbies? Um, hobbies, yes. I like to cut trees up, and I like to split firewood, and I like to make fires in my house in the fireplace. What would you do if you won the lottery? If I won the lottery, well, I think first I would pay off all my debt. I would pay off my house and cars and things like that. And then I would probably help my family and um, friends do the, do the same kind of things, help get them out of debt. Um, in the end, I would probably end up giving away a lot of it. Um, but one thing I think I would do for sure is I would, um, I would help um, the school district build a field house type of building that had a lot of extra practice gyms and practice space and uh, different activities for the community to be involved in and then I would um, donate that to the school. 
What is a food that you like but everybody else thinks is disgusting? I love lima beans. I love sauerkraut. And I love mixing sauerkraut with mashed potatoes. Who was, who was your favorite teacher in school? My favorite teacher in school was uh, my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Burton. Um, I just remember her, uh, it's kind of like the first time I really had fun in school. I remember playing a lot of fun games in uh, her class. We used to play Oregon Trail. And uh, also I remember playing uh, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego in her class. We also used to do like um, multiplication uh, races, like uh, times tables. And uh, I thought that was really fun too. And I was good at it, I was hard to beat. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Donor's family. I'm super proud of my dad for being named an IBCA Coach of the Year for the second time. Good job, Dad. What is second grade's favorite pet? Dog, cat, hamster, reptile, bird, or guinea pig. Dogs got 46%, cats got 27%, Guinea pigs got 7%, hamsters got 9%, reptiles got 6%, and birds got 3%. Dogs win! My favorite state to visit is... Tennessee. Florida. Oregon. Or Texas. My favorite state to visit is Oregon. Oregon wins. Hey Davenport, Sophia here. Today's classroom spotlight is Miss Eaton's class. In math, they are learning measurements and data. In reading, they are reading revolutionary books. In social studies, they are learning a very special thing. It is the We Love America program. Good morning. I'm here with Kylie from Mrs. Eaton's class. What's your favorite part of the day? Science. What has been your favorite part of third grade? The school field trips. Thank you for letting me interview. You're welcome. Good morning. I'm here with Jesse from Mrs. Eaton's class. How does your teacher make learning fun? She plays math games. What do you like about being in third grade? I like the field trips. Thank you for letting me in. Hi, Davenport. Tess here. Are you ready for Easter? There are nine more days and it's getting warm. Today it's going to be stormy with a high of 67 and a low of 35. Tomorrow it's going to be partly cloudy with high of 46 and a low of 29. On Sunday it is going to be sunny with high of 61 and a low of 46. So downport, want to hear a bad cat joke? Sure. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> people did you know dr seuss's book green eggs and ham grew out of a bet with his editor that he could not create a book using fewer than 50 different words yeah you heard me right green eggs and ham only used 50 words dr seuss had won the bet do you think you could create a book with 50 different words or less well think well you think about it and we'll move on to the next segment April 7th, Easter break, no school. April 10th, it's also Easter break.
the V, the V, and that's all, folks.